Uh, what is up everyone, I am Demon Cringe and uh, you know how there are some really bad looking cartoons out there, whether it be because of budget constraints or they were simply trying to freak us the hell out. There are some cartoons out there that really make you wonder how the hell they got past episode 1. Well folks, I'm sure that you all noticed that uh, my last few episodes of this show have kind of been focusing on cartoons where the ugliness wasn't really in plain sight, rather it was hidden away in the writing, the plot lines, and the terrible humor. Well everyone, uh, I gotta say, now we are kind of going back to the uh, pure, unadulterated visual horror, and by the way everyone, a word of warning, this cartoon has gotta be one of the most exceptionally disgusting shows I have ever seen in my life, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mega Babies. At the dawn of the new millennium, the planets aligned, and heroes were born! Jesus Christ, what can I really say about this show? Well, honestly, not much because there really isn't a lot of info about this show online. Unlike in the last episode where Squirrel Boy actually had a poorly, poorly written fan wiki, uh, this show is pretty much in the same boat as Out of Jimmy's Ass in the sense that the internet has uh, practically been scrubbed clean of it as the network was so embarrassed for making it. Although you still can find some episodes on YouTube now, folks. So just by looking at the entry, you're already thinking, well, DC, you know, like uh, this show is uh, obviously, you know, you can just see it by looking at the intro that it's super bad. It obviously was very short lived and all that. Well, uh, let me surprise you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, this show, this show right here actually lasted for two whole seasons. Two seasons with 52 episodes. 52, goddammit. Like, who, uh, what were they thinking? Seriously, you know? So now with that little rant out of the way, let us get into the uh, description and all that. So Mega Babies was a Canadian show made by, and get this, here's a little bit of more depression for you. If the two, two, two seasons with 52 episodes wasn't enough for you, ladies and gentlemen, you will not believe who actually made this. Okay, so this show was made by Christian and uh, Ivana Tremblay. Okay, those are the same guys that made SWAT Cats. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, SWAT Cats. The same people that made SWAT cats made Mega Babies. Isn't that just beautiful? So honestly, folks, uh, I got asked pretty much the same question that I asked for uh, Saban Entertainment, you know? And the question goes, how do you go from this to this? Okay, how do you go from that to that? Please tell me. So the show aired on uh, the Fox Family Channel, Teletoon, Channel 5 for the UK, and was actually reran till uh, 2002, yeah, um, two extra years of torture for the little kitties watching all of this as uh, Saturday mornings, uh, just uh, beautiful, yeah. I can just imagine sitting in your room, you know, like, you're, uh, you're probably thinking, oh my god, uh, something good is gonna come up and all that, maybe the Ninja Turtles, uh, the awesome, you know, the awesome early, early 2000s Ninja Turtles and all that, and then all of a sudden, oh, you get Mega Babies and you jump out of your skin. So the story focused around the uh, three main characters and their caretaker, the planets basically aligned and three random babies were blasted with cosmic lightning and got superpowers, now it is their job to protect their town, which is ironically called your town, from evil. Uh, yeah, pretty simple, uh, pretty simple premise, and honestly, the story barely ever goes anywhere, because uh, when you see a show like this, obviously you're not expecting anything else. Now onto the characters, and my god, these have gotta be the shortest character descriptions I've ever seen in my life, as they honestly have nothing else going for them other than their powers. So first off, we have Meg, who is the oldest of the three, and uh, all three of the, the uh, heroes have uh, two powers. Uh, Meg actually has the powers of, uh, get this, Mega Fart and Baby Flirt, yeah. That's exactly what I want to see, a baby trying to flirt with a giant monster. you beautiful, yeah. Sounds like a, sounds like a recipe for DeviantArt. Derek, the middle one, has, uh, <clears throat> Snot Palooza and Berserker Fury, and Buck, the youngest of the bunch, has, uh, Super Belch and Trouble Magnet, which honestly isn't much of a power if you ask me, you know. I, uh, I don't think uh, attracting trouble is like a, like a desirable strength. 
And of course the fourth character who is also their caretaker, Nurse Laszlo, who actually does have abilities of her own, which is uh, super intelligence and superhuman endurance. Well I guess that that's actually a pretty fitting superpower as you honestly have to have superhuman endurance just to sit through one episode of this, apparently I have it as well. So now we go on to the episodes and oh boy, this show takes being a gross out show to a whole new level, a level where only one other show actually surpasses it and I'm gonna be talking about that show in another video. So the episodes themselves are basically just random one-offs featuring just one of two themes, okay? The first one was complete and total annoyance by that of the main characters, or disgusting humor that even an actual baby wouldn't laugh at. So there's this one episode called uh, Poo Poo Dog, where the kids want a dog, they go to a, they go to a pound and all that, and then uh, this happens. <laughs> Or this little gem that's also called Molar Attack, where Meg's teeth hurt and she does this! Uh, yeah, I do kind of think that that's enough torture for one video, so honestly you already got the gist of it, I really don't have to say anything more, in fact I actually found a funny IMDB review that perfectly summarizes this show, so let's take a look at that one! And the review is titled Worst Kid Show Ever Made, which honestly really isn't far from the truth, and it says, this show is disgusting, and when I say disgusting, I mean disgusting! The show is filled with puke, drool, snot, feces, urine, mucus, vomit, saliva, teeth, puke, drool, snot... See what I mean when I say disgusting? I'm not gonna lie, I find this cartoon excruciating to watch, and you know what? That's not the only problem with this vile abomination. Mega Babies themselves, I despise all three of them, even if you get past the constant gross out, What's there like about this show? These kids are annoying. They are spoiled little pests that constantly scream whenever they don't get the, what they want. They are the source of the most dreaded uh, gross out in this show. And for the character design, what species are those? Because I uh, know for a fact it's certain that those things are not human. All I can say is uh, don't watch this. In fact, uh, don't make it the same mistake I did. Don't ever try this show. Well, unfortunately, I already, I already did that. So uh, yeah, my eyes are permanently scarred. Uh, if you have kids, don't show them this, uh, they deserve better than this. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, they do deserve better than this, you know, and uh, this is pretty much uh, what I have to say to a lot of people that always, uh, that always uh, hate on people, you know, for uh, ranting and talking about these uh, cartoons and all that stuff. Oh my god, why are you just, why are you just talking about shows like this? They're obviously for kids. And yes, they are for kids, but honestly, kids deserve a much better quality programming than this. And uh, if you don't talk about a problem, uh, they, it would just won't go away. And honestly, we have to talk about this, so uh, future animators don't, uh, don't make the same mistake as these people did. Like I said, the review itself perfectly summarizes it. It is absolutely disgusting. The show is trash, the character design is god-awful, and the animation itself even more so. And do you want to know what's even more depressing about this show? The voice work itself was directed by a veteran voice actor. Yes, everyone, a veteran voice actor by the name of Terry Klassen who voice acted in the English dub of Dragon Ball Z as Krillin, he also uh, did voice direction for cartoons like Ed and Eddie, uh, and the anime card captures, uh, some Barbie films, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and even uh, Johnny Test. Well everyone, you know how the old saying goes, we all have our highs and lows, and man oh man was this a low, I'm just glad that this terrible show didn't sink his career. So in closing, the only thing that kept the show from being even more disgusting is the fact that they never made the characters take a dump and show actual shit. And that is why Mega Babies is one of the ugliest cartoons ever. Anyway everyone, thank you all so much for watching, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon, and if you wish to support me in a different way, my Patreon link is in the description below, and as always, and even cringe, I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.